We thought we'd bring you one of the world's experts on nuclear energy, Ali Hainanen of Harvard University. Professor, uh, so much has happened in the last 24 hours. What is the thing the people of Tokyo fleeing? What should they know about this accident? Well, I think at first of all, uh, thank you for having me here. I think I hope that the people keep calm. I think this is important from it, this situation. And at the same time, the facility operators get the remaining problems under their control and that they are able to communicate this uh, on a reliable mm -hmm. manner to the public. You have inspected these plants before. If we assume that the General Electric Company is a world leader in these constructions, if we get a worst case, is the, is the fission product, does it drop down and is it protected from the public if we get a true meltdown? If we get through a meltdown, we are going to have a big problem in our hands. And I hope that we can still avoid it because they have this emergency cooling arrangements there. But this depends from many factors. One of the problems are the aftershocks, as we heard. They may disable some of the vital functions still. But today we have also good news because they are able to restore better electricity in Fukushima so the combat by these heroic operators is easier. Uh, I, I notice that people in Hawaii are buying iodine tablets. Is the cesium and the iodine radiation, is it something we need to fear? Obviously the brave people at those facilities need to fear the radiation. Should we be taking preventative actions, those of us that feel with the wind that we could be threatened by the radiation? I don't think we should yet go in the U.S. that far, I would say. And we have here good radiation protection authorities and we should follow their recommendations rather than get into a panic. When you, when you look at this, folks, bring up dreaded first chart, if you would. Professor, the price of uranium exploded up years ago. This is price of uranium, folks, going back 30 years, and it's come back down. When, when, you, when you look at all of your knowledge, what's the thing you would do different when you inspect or you build the next nuclear plant? This we have now to look, you know, very carefully. I think it's a too early to rush to very extensive analysis. It's important now to get things under control and then we have to go back and see was this something which we could have avoided by constructing facilities differently? Is their location uh, mm -hmm. proper? Have we taken adequate measures during this uh, crisis? And then put all this together and look, you know, what should we do, where should we go, where the facilities should be located. And most impo important also, right. look the existing facilities, if we need to change something there. Professor, thank you so much. Ali Hainan and folks, thrilled to have him on from the Belfer Institute, Harvard University.